and you are here to uh, express, I hope, uh, appreciation to both the city of Santa Cruz and the county for uh, their additional support to complete the final 24 homes of the 78 home project. But let me start off by introducing one of my old friends, although he's younger than I am, and our current state senator, Scott Wilk, to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I don't know where there's a flag. Oh, right there. You didn't know where the flag was? Okay, if you could place your right hand over your heart, repeat after me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, sir. I would like to recognize a couple of our board members who were able to attend today, Karen Brown. Dave Grossman, and our past board chairman, Richard Doss. Also, many of you know that Jack Shine was a longtime member of our uh, board, a former chairman of the board, and he passed away last week, and many of us were at his service on Tuesday. He was truly a pioneer in the field of housing. He built lots of single-family homes out here in Santa Cruz. But then he took that to the next level to build affordable housing for those in need, and then was one of the leaders in helping create the model of affordable housing for veterans with a partnership with CalVet. He, will, he is... Um, love of those who were in need, his donations to those in need, and his love of the arts will always be remembered. And uh, he was also an Army veteran, for those of you who did not know that. So we will miss him. We will miss his involvement with uh, our efforts. And we wish the best to his uh, widow, Doreen. Now let me tell you just briefly where we are on this project. There are 24 foundations uh, or homes left to build. All the foundations have been poured. Of those, 15 have been framed, as you can see in back of you. And six of those will be completed with six additional veterans having their homes and their keys by the end of this year. We have additional road work and other work, supporting work that has to be done. But we fully expect that all 24 homes will be finished next year and this community will be completed. It is now my pr pleasure to introduce our CEO, Donna Deutschman, to say a few words. Donna. Thank you all for being here and for loving our veterans. And, you know, I'm a simple-minded person in a lot of ways. And what it comes down to is that Santa Clarita loves its veterans. The county supervisor loves the veterans. The city loves its veterans. And CalVet and our state representative, Scott, loves our veterans. Or this project would not happen. Loreen, and all of the city council members have been staunch supporters. Marsha, others, Bob, who is a veteran himself, and Bob, where are you, has dedicated a huge part of his life towards veterans. And this project would not happen. Bob was at one of the first meetings with Secretary Peter Gravitt, visualizing this so it could come together. And there's a reason they do that. There's a reason, because our veterans deserve the best of the best because they've given the best of their best. And in many ways, there's nothing more to say. We are thankful that the city and the county have chosen to support 
tremendously the growth of our veterans and their movement into the middle class through wraparound services that provide the necessary skills that are added to the veterans honor, valor, and other skills that they've learned in the service so that they can move into the middle class and become citizens that bring Santa Clarita forward to the best city of tomorrow. I'd like to invite Scott to come up just a minute in a second to talk a little bit about education, the importance of education and the importance of employment. And then, but before that, I do wanna honor our city and county for their gifts today. Um, Stacy, Stacy is the woman who makes everything happen. She pushes me around so that I can get where I need to go and do what I need to do. Um, Supervisor, Catherine Barger. Thank you. Thank you. In recognition of your support for our veterans. Hunt, do you want to come up? And you'll notice the wall is in this picture because it represents every division of service. Lorraine, for the city of Santa Clarita. There's somebody we don't want to forget who works tirelessly to make this happen, who's our leader, and who happens to love a certain president, several presidents, but one of his favorites is Lincoln. And here's a photograph of President Lincoln at General Michelin's headquarters, Mr. Hunt Brawley. For all your work. The wife has to figure out where this goes now. He does. Because he's so skinny. And now, Scott, if you would say a few words. Thank you, Don. I wasn't planning on speaking, so. But uh, I, I serve on the Veteran Affairs uh, Committee, and I'm also Vice Chair of Senate Education Committee. And uh, we have many veterans coming back after uh, doing tours of duty, whether it's in Afghanistan, Iraq, uh, all kinds of places around the world. And uh, they've really sacrificed to, to, to promote freedom, not only here at home, but abroad. It's incredibly important uh, that we honor that service by, by giving them the services they, that they need. So I want to thank the county and the city for this funding. It's great to have housing, but you also need to have the wraparound services to, to really empower them to, to be the, all that they can be. So I'm really happy to be here. I want to again thank the county and the city. And then what's the new organization called, Hunt? Homes for family. And Homes for Family for all that they do for our veterans and for others. So thank you very much. Thank you, Scott. Also, Councilman Bill Miranda has, has shown up with, I think, two grandkids. Bill, thank you. I'm not sure they're excited about being here, but maybe you're taking them to ice cream afterwards or something. McDonald's. McDonald's. Oh. <laughs> Don't tell Lorraine that. I just want to emphasize again what we do. Uh, and we're now homes for families, and we'll... We'll keep on missing that Habitat Homes for Families probably in the next couple of months. But it's significant because we are the only organization that we know of that has formed a partnership with a state agency like CalVet to fund affordable veteran housing communities. And as you look around here, the supervisor mentioned the wall. 
and the plaques to the city and to the supervisor, the walls there. This is a community. If you talk to our veterans, this is a community. But this is not the last one. We started kind of little with 12 homes in Silmar. Then somehow we, we jumped to 78. We're going to be a little bit more manageable. Our next project is 56 in Palmdale. And we just had an event last night in Palmdale. Welcome to the uh, neighborhood as we start that process. And this merger that we have just announced yesterday will allow us to take this model of building affordable housing communities for veterans and the wraparound services, really appreciated what Scott says, throughout the state of California. There's a tremendous need for this, and we are uh, uniquely equipped to be able to uh, offer this to other areas, and that's our plan going forward. But to do that, you need political support. And, you, and it's not just the political support where they say, OK, 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 but people who really believe in their, in their core of what you're doing. Our new supervisor, I can still say new. She hasn't been in there yet a year, so she's still new. But she seems like she's been there for a decade. Catherine Barger not only hit the ground running, hit the ground with the understanding of the complexity of the issues of being a county supervisor the economic issues where she sometimes is a lone wolf on the uh, uh, board, but also the understanding that there are needs for social services. And she has been at the forefront in working on affordable housing, supporting our projects, not just here, but I have to remind you, Palmdale uh, and other places. And it is uh, with great pleasure that I introduce our county supervisor, Catherine Barger. First of all, I want to thank you for that plaque. I'm going to put it up this afternoon in my office um, as a reminder. Uh, when I talk about veterans and I talk about the needs out there, I cringe when I say homeless veterans because in this country, those two words shouldn't go together. It should be a given that they sacrificed so much for us that the least we can do is give back for them. And it is really an honor for me to be a part of this. And Hunt, just for your information, um, when I get calls now, I, I made a policy, no gifts. And I have a list. And actually, there's only two organizations on it that I ask if anyone wants to provide a gift to me that they give to the Antelope Valley Project, as well as a homeless um, services project in Pasadena. And I'm doing that because uh, that's what it's all about, and it's about education. And people need to understand um, the needs out there. And I am honored to be a part of this. And as a result of that, and Rosalind's got something that I want to give to you all, and it's not a surprise, but the county, we're going to give 350000 toward Homes for Family. <laughs> and, you know, and I think Scott will agree with me. Um, you know, we, we in elected positions um, are supporting you. You all do the heavy lifting, and I cannot thank you enough for uh, allowing me to participate in this program with you. So thank you very much. Part partnership is not just with the county, it is with, uh, it's not my hometown, I wasn't born here, but I've lived here since it was a little bit smaller, and uh, both my kids went to the schools here and uh, uh, were raised here. And the city of Santa Cruz has grown, with that becomes responsibility. And uh, their support for this project from the, from the get-go has been tremendous. Um, they've bent over backwards to help us with some issues that we've had. Uh, and then when we were uh, nearing the end and had a, a little bit of additional need for some funding, uh, we approached uh, City Manager Ken Striplin, who's not here, but Frank Oviedo, the number two, is here. Hi, Frank. And he really didn't bat an eye. He, he said, okay, let me talk to the council. And the council didn't bat an eye. And um, we just really appreciate the additional support financially, but really all the support and any other city staff that's here, everything you've done to uh, get us to 54 homes occupied in the next 24. It's my pleasure to introduce a longtime friend, Mayor Pro Tem, 
Lorraine West. When I look at this project, I think um, the first days we're out here working in the dirt, and it was hot, and you know, it's come so far, and it is so amazing. And Donna, you are just one awesome lady, you and your board. We love you. Give her a hand. You know, uh, I'm really honored and humbled to be able to do anything for veterans. Uh, my husband's a veteran. Um, we all would not have what we have. And we're celebrating this neighborhood and, and the homes for families. What's family? Family is your friends. It's your the people you're related to. It's also people around you that will be family to the families in this community. They will support each other. They've been through the same experiences. That's what you need to understand about veterans. They come back um, and their country, they've defended us. They've gone out and gone the extra mile. Some of them have given some pretty hellacious sacrifices. But when they come back, they need to be surrounded by the love and support, not only of their own personal families, but the friends, but with people who understand what they've been through and who will support them. And so um, I think we're about as patri patriotic as you get uh, in Santa Cruz. It's kind of in our blood. Um, and we think families are the backbone of society. Everything in Santa Cruz is about families. So we're very thankful to Home for Families for their commitment to providing resources. And the housing and the opportunities for these families will go forever to change the direction of their lives and their move, as Donna put it, up into middle class and being very productive members of society and being able to enjoy the very things in America that they defended so that we would have that. And that's a really big diff deal. Um, I'm kind of proud of the fact that there's a lot of good things here. There's places for kids to play. There's open space for them to just get out and romp around on, be in nature. And there's going to be a veteran's garden where they can grow things and, and there'll be fruit trees. And these are really important things. And I think our belief system is we actively ensure that we support veterans and that they get the things that they need. And that's what this gathering today shows is we are doing as a bonded family collectively of many political groups and many nonprofit and support and the hundreds and hundreds of people that came out here and worked for free because they knew this was the right thing to do and they did I mean I'm hanging off a rope off a hill, digging holes like a gopher in 105 degrees of heat. And I'm going, water, water. But, it, you know, at the end of the day, it was great. It was, it made me feel good about who I am because I can't go sacrifice in Iraq and Iran, but I can do it for you guys and your families here. So I was really thrilled. So today, um, I'd like to... Um, ask my fellow city council members to come up and join me, Marsh McLean, Bob Keller, and Bill Miranda. You're all here. Please come up. We're going to present uh, to uh, this wonderful uh, effort to complete the Santa Clarita Calvet residentially enriched neighborhood. Uh, and so we're going to take a picture and we're going to say, hey, can we do it again? Did you get back? Almost. <laughs> Give us land, lots of land. Yeah. How come her check is bigger than our check? <laughs> it's the amount of money. <laughs> Not the size of the check. <laughs> I thought that was coming. <laughs> All right. Very Donna, good. Donna. Your check, my dear. Love you. Thank you, Council. Thank you, um, Supervisor Barger. Thank you, our wonderful Senator uh, Wilk. And thank you, everybody who volunteers and helps. We're very proud, and I do want to do it again. So if you're listening, Frank Ovi Oviedo, find the land. Stacy? Where's Stacy? Do you have another copy of the agenda? Because I know there was a change, and I think the wind blew away. Thank you. Say she takes care of me too. Thank you, Stacy. Um, it's now my, <laughs> in a professional way, Pamela. Jeez. 
It's my pleasure now to introduce one of our veteran homeowners here in Center Point. Gus Avila is a Navy veteran who served over 20 years as a leader, mentor, and career counselor. He was connected to the Marines his entire military career and providing them with medical care. Gus served in multiple campaigns from Desert Storm to most recently OEF slash OIC, I think it says, and if it's wrong, he'll correct us, and was deployed in Afghanistan and Iraq. After Gus retired from military service, he took advantage of his benefits wisely. He began his college education at Community College, where he then transferred to UCLA, no Snickers, because there's something good coming, and graduated with a bachelor's in psychology. Now he's a full-time student at USC. Thank you. If you don't know, I am a Trojan. Working towards his master's degree in social work, Gus will be moving into his brand new home this December with his wife Pamela and his daughter Gabrielle. The support that the County of LA and the City of Santa Cruz provides today will help Gus and 23 other veterans like him achieve their dreams of ownership. Gus, will you come up and say a few words? And I think you're bringing your family. And this, Stacy didn't write it on this one, so you'll have to introduce your family. Thank you. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. Uh, this is my wife, Pamela, my daughter, Gabrielle. And first and foremost, I'd like to thank the, the County of Los Angeles, the City of Santa Clarita, Homes for Families, and Calvet. Uh, it is an, always an honor for me to serve my country with honor, courage, and commitment. And I believe, firmly believe that this organization and all the organizations that have helped us out have done more than the best because they also possess the honor, courage, and commitment to serve us as we served you. And we're very thankful to make it happen. A lot of veterans come back home to have the American dream to own a home. But it's very difficult based on the economy, how uh, things are. And to make it happen just brings us even closer to the community, especially the social support that Homes for Family provides uh, with all the extra activities that we have to commit to in order to be homeowners here. It's very valuable to us. And I think uh, we all appreciate each and everything that everyone has done here for us. And we thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts. Uh, Gabrielle says on behalf of the babies, she'd like to thank you for the park and all the open spaces as well. <laughs> thank you so much for being here. She didn't smile. I don't know what that means. Uh, uh, but the mention about the wraparound services, our enrichment services, you can go on our website, which is Homes for Family, with the number. If you still go to humanityca.org, that will soon transfer over. Uh, you can see all the things we do. And I, I need to acknowledge there's, there's several people here who work on our enrichment services, Chris and John. But I can't forget my wife, Pamela, who started before I even joined the board in doing uh, an art program that she had used in domestic violence, adapted it for veterans, veterans' families, and still working hard on that. Finally, I wouldn't be doing my job as chairman of the board if I didn't make a pitch that there is still a need for, for all of you and your friends to help us raise money, not just for here, but for Palmdale and everything else we're doing. So on October 7th, Danielle, raise your hand. Danielle De Leon, our uh, fund development manager, is uh, trying to encourage people to go 26 stories down Universal Hilton. Uh, I think we have 48 people already signed up. We've, cra we've crossed the $100,000 in donation uh, level already with uh, two and a half weeks left on October 7th. Uh, go online if you can help, whatever amount. Uh, we have uh, several members of the community. Uh, we have veterans homeowners here who are repelling. Uh, I am not because I, I don't think I'd be able to do it very well, but uh, I'm encouraging others. Got three members of my firm to do it. Two of them are, are ladies, so that's kind of interesting and encouraging. So um, please consider doing that and anything else you can think of to, to help our efforts um, because it's a combination of not just government, but also the private sector to make this happen. So again, thank you very much. And we hope to see you at the next key ceremony where you, there will not be a, a, a dry eye in the, in the room. Thank you very much.